Welcome back to High Coco's channel. Hi Coco. Have you all seen the exfoliation tips video done by our fellow High Coco Salester? Our customers always come to us with a bundle of skincare related questions. But since you can't visit us in stores at the moment, you're probably holding in these burning questions in. Hence why we're here with another skincare tip video that me and my colleagues wanted to share. In today's video, we will be talking about the different kinds of cleansers and the importance of each cleansing step. So, shall we dive in? Hi, my name's Josie and I'll start off this video by telling you all about oil cleansers. You guys may be wondering, why is using cleansing oil so important? Well, you've all heard of double cleansing, right? One of the most important tips to achieve healthy skin is to first cleanse with an oil-based cleanser and then after rinsing that off, follow up with a water-based cleanser. Even if you don't usually wear makeup, our skin produces natural oils throughout the day, sheds skin cells, and is also exposed to environmental dust. All of this can sit on your face and eventually lead to clogged pores and acne. Can't I just wash my face with water or a foaming cleanser? If you put a tablespoon of oil into a glass of water, what happens? There's two layers and none of them mix with each other. Because oil and water aren't built the same, they don't like each other. However, like dissolves like, so you'll need different products to remove different residues off your face. Water dissolves water. Water-based cleansers will help with the removal of water-based nasties like bacteria, dead skin cells, and sweat, but you will still likely have leftover residue sitting on your skin or dissolved into your pores. Oil dissolves oil, so your cleansing oil will help remove your oil-based products such as your sunscreen, makeup, and also your sebum. Oil cleansers also help penetrate wow. deeper into these pores to help with dissolving blackheads to an extent. Also, many of our daily makeup products are oil-based or waterproof, so it is very important to use oil-based cleansers to remove these products from our face. There's one question that beauties often ask us in the stores. Won't putting oil on my already oily face just make it worse? This is what I mistakenly thought back in the day as well, but actually it's a myth. Cleansing oils do not make your face more oily, as most of them emulsify into a milk and plus you are washing it off. Unlike water-based cleansers, when using cleansing oils, you should always apply onto dry skin, with washed and dried hands of course. I can't emphasize this enough, but it is highly recommended that you thoroughly massage the cleansing oil into your face for about 1-2 to two minutes, as this step also helps to dissolve the blackheads that are stuck deep inside your pores. This helps to heavily reduce their appearance over time. Much like our skin, every oil cleanser is going to be different. Make sure you check the ingredients on each product before you try them. And definitely go for another option if the ingredients list has something that you might easily react to. In this way you can look for the best oil cleanser specific to you. Hi, my name is JN and to follow up Josie's talk about oil-based cleansers and cleansing oils, I'll let you know more about cleansing balm. So, what is a cleansing balm and why do we use them? To put it simply, it is a wax texture type of cleanser that helps to gently cleanse impurities and remove makeup. This includes heavy slash waterproof makeup, but there are some specific benefits of using a cleansing balm over others. Cleansing balms also have the ability to penetrate deep through the pores, allowing the removal of impurities such as blackheads, dirt, dust, and excess sebum, which makes it also ideal for those who have skin problems such as acne, oily, or dull skin. I know that many people get confused between cleansing balms and cleansing oils because they are both oil-based. I would say the main differences between cleansing balms and cleansing oils are the following. Number 1. Balms have a creamy and light buttery texture while cleansing oils are heavier and rich in consistency. The reason for choosing which cleanser type to use also depends on personal preference as well. For example, I like to use cleansing balms because they help better with removing heavier makeup while it still feels fresh and light after washing. They are creamier and lighter in consistency which allows them to deeply cleanse your pores while still retaining the moisture under the surface of your skin. Number 2. Cleansing balms are very easy and efficient to use. For those who like to keep their bathrooms clean, you might want to consider balms over sloppy oils. I would recommend using 1-2 to two full scoops of the product and it will start to warm up as soon as you apply it on your skin. To 
turning into an oil form so that it helps to cleanse more deeply. Then once you add water, I would recommend using lukewarm water, it emulsifies into a milky watery texture. After fully washing off the product, I would recommend going, going in with another foam cleanser just to remove the excess makeup or dirt that could be sitting on top of the skin. Hey, my name is Ashlyn and since Jane and Josie have told you all about oil-based cleansers, I'm going to talk about the importance of water-based cleansers to wrap up. So you have your cleansing balm or cleansing oil, what's next? Well, you need to wash off the possibly left behind residue with something that is stronger than just water. And this is where your water-based cleanser comes in. Water-based cleansers can also work well on their own to remove bacteria, sweat, and other impurities. So if you're tossing up between either a water-based cleanser or an oil-based cleanser, but you're not a heavy makeup person, then water-based cleanser is your go-to. Foam cleansers can be great for getting in and around all the areas of your face. They contain gentle surfactants, otherwise known as surface acting agents. This helps to create the foaming formula so that the product can get deeper into the pores and the crevices of your skin. The surfactants work to emulsify and break down fats and oils on your skin to allow them to be washed away more easily. If your skin is drier, then a gel cleanser would be a great option for you. Gel cleansers don't foam up as much and they can help retain hydration in your skin. So they are a more gentle way to cleanse, which would help if you do have more sensitive skin. You can also use cleansers that are mildly acidic. These can come either foam or gel and have a pH level similar to that of our natural skin, tend to be less dry to the skin. I hope this gave you some helpful insight into the importance of cleansing and what cleansing form will be best for you. This is the most important step in your skincare routine, so you do need to take extra care when choosing the right one for your skin. In general, cleansing your skin is very important as this prevents future skin problems and keeps your skin feeling healthy throughout the day. Since we have all these different compounds on our face, this is exactly why double cleansing is so necessary. We hope that you beauties have learned something new from us today now that you know all of our tips to achieving the best cleanse. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any further questions for us. Until, Until next time, time. bye beauties, let's, let's be pretty! pretty.